It was front page news all across the world. It really was a huge global event. It was the perfect storm of the Cold War politics combined with movie star levels of fame. I was looking to find a Cold War story that I spoke to now. I'd known about the match of the century. I researched it and it turned out to be a fascinating story full of uh, larger than life characters, x-raying of chairs, radiation emitters. I thought that would be a fantastically theatrical and interesting uh, take on a Cold War thriller. Ravens, Spassky vs. Fisher is about the 1972 World Chess Championship, an American Grandmaster versus a Soviet uh, Grandmaster. Fisher was a complete narcissist who didn't particularly love, had no love for America. Spassky was a not a very good communist. The fact that these two men are kind of held up as heroes, they find that um, a really interesting uh, aspect to, to explore. Rather than nuclear annihilation, we had the politics of the day played out on a chessboard and it makes for a really fascinating story with a lot of paranoia and spy gadgets and the tension between those two superpowers, which is still very much relevant today. What are the reasons for someone quite openly uh, flouting the rules and yet everyone turns a blind eye? It's just one of those cases where the true life story is just a bit bonkers. I'm really excited to be part of the Hampstead's 60th anniversary season. I don't think the audience requires any kind of prior knowledge about chess. Everyone loves a Cold War spy thriller. It speaks a lot to the politics now and there's something quite exciting about that.